Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi girls, how are you? Let's continue lesson 3 of chapter 15. How are force, mass, and energy related? In the first part, we've talked about mass and weight. We've said that mass is not the same as weight. Why is that? Because mass is amount of matter in an object, while the weight is what? Weight is the force. Force of what? Force of gravity. So weight is force of gravity that acts on this mass or this object. Also, we've talked about gravity. We've said that gravity is the force that makes objects pull toward each other. So gravity is force that makes objects pull toward each other. Again, what is gravity? Force that makes objects pull toward each other. Uh, like the earth and the moon, each one of them is pulled toward the other, okay? Also, the sun and the earth, the pencil and the ground, the ball and the ground, all of that is gravity. Okay, the force of gravity, as we've said, uh, depends on two things, okay? Depends on the masses of the objects and also the distance between the objects. We've said that if the two objects or if the objects uh, have big mass, big masses, there will be strong force of gravity. If the objects uh, have little masses or small masses, they will have weak force of gravity. So if the objects are very big or very large, so there will be strong force of gravity. If the objects are small in mass, so they will have a weak force of gravity between them. We've also said the distance, okay, affects the gravity or affects, affects the force of gravity. When the distance between the two objects is near or is small, so the force of gravity will become strong yes so it is the opposite to the force of gravity after that we've said that force can be measured i can use something called spring scale this is a spring scale to measure the force okay and what is the meaning of n here the end letter here the n here refers to newton newton is the unit of force can i measure the force in gram no can I measure the force in milliliters? No, I measure the force in Newton, okay? For example here, one Newton here means that this is the amount of force I need to carry this apple, okay? Or to lift this apple. Now we will continue the other part of the lesson, starting with work. What is work? Work is ability to move something, okay? If you are capable of moving something, okay? Also, work means the force that moves the objects, okay? The force that moves the objects. So work is the ability to move objects or the work is the force that moves objects, okay? If these objects do not move, there is no work. So, no motion, no work. No motion, no work. When the work is done, change happens. How is that? Look at this boy. This boy opened the door, right? So, did he uh, do work? Yes. He did work. Why? Because we said work is ability to move something and he moved the door. We've said also work is the force that makes object move. And here the boy applied force on the door. Okay, so the door was opened. Also here, when he applied force and when he did work here, the door moved 
and also change happened how the door moved from its place to another place and this is change look at this cute dog is this dog doing work doing work yes he's doing work how did you know we said that work means ability to move objects okay or it is the force that makes objects move and he this dog is moving the stroller okay so there is motion so there is work also because there is work change happens as you see here the stroller is moving from one place to another it's changing the, its place look at this girl this girl is pushing the wall is that work is work done in here no why because nothing is moving the wall is not moving and we've said no motion no work okay also the wall is not changing its place so here there is no work okay we've said that when work is done change happens when work is done change happens this change comes from where what causes this change the energy when you go to open the door okay work is done here right and the door is changing its place what causes the door to change its place your energy right so the energy causes change why because the definition of energy is ability to do work and cause change okay so when work is done change happens what causes this change energy okay again when work is done change happens what causes this change energy okay today we will talk about two kinds of energy okay potential energy and kinetic energy potential energy is the stored energy okay you are storing for example you are now sitting doing nothing so where is your energy it is in your it is stored in your body okay so the stored energy in anything in any object around you the stored energy inside you is called potential energy while the kinetic energy is the opposite the kinetic energy is energy of motion okay kinetic also can be pronounced as kinetic okay so again potential energy is energy that is stored potential energy is the stored energy okay here six examples okay uh, of potential energy we will talk about each example of them okay look at this rubber band when you stretch this rubber band you give this rubber band energy where is the energy where is the energy now the energy is stored now in the rubber band so this rubber band has what potential energy the second example is the wind toy look at here this is the wind toy the wind toy has a spring here when you move the spring okay you give this toy your energy where is this energy now this energy is stored inside the toy so this toy is storing the energy this toy has potential energy excellent the third example here is fossil fuel all of these fossil fuels the coal that you barbecue with the oil that your father use in, uh, uses in his car okay the natural gas that you cook with okay all of them now like this are storing energy you are not using them now right so where 
where is the energy it is stored inside them now so each one of them has potential energy the fourth kind here is the plant stored food we've said in the first term that the plant makes photosynthesis right and the plant stores food this food is kind of energy this food is storing potential energy so the plant stores food okay and this stored food is potential energy so the plant has now what potential energy and he's getting this potential energy from the sun he changes uh, sorry it changes the light energy from the sun into potential energy here the fifth example here the fifth example is water behind a dam what does that mean this is a dam okay this is a dam people build dam why to stop the water from drowning villages and uh, cities look at the water here is the water here moving no where is the energy of the water the energy of the water is stored inside it okay so the water here has what potential energy the last example here is topping of giant swing when you ride this kind of swing okay when it goes so high or very high it stops for a moment did you notice that that the swing when it goes so high okay it stops for a moment this moment at this moment the swing has stored energy at this moment the swing is having potential energy so like that we've talked about potential energy and we've said that potential energy is stored energy now let's talk about kinetic energy kinetic energy is energy of motion so kinetic energy is energy of motion so any moving object has kinetic energy okay as you see here this swing is moving so this swing now has what has kinetic energy kinetic energy depends on two things okay kinetic energy depend on the object's speed also the kinetic energy depends on object's mass okay so the kinetic energy the amount of the kinetic energy depends on two things the object speed and the object's mass the kinetic energy depends on the object speed when this object when any object okay is moving with high speed is moving very fast okay so it will have more kinetic energy so when the object moves with high speed it will have more kinetic energy if the object has more mass for example the swing when the swing has more people riding it riding the swing it will have more kinetic energy okay so more speed means more kinetic energy more mass means more kinetic energy okay potential energy can change into kinetic energy also the opposite kinetic energy can change also into potential energy wow teacher i don't understand okay let's focus on the next examples and you will understand look at this this is the swing look the swing here goes very high and it stops for a moment here the swing has potential energy after that this potential energy will change into energy of motion because the swing will move so 
the potential energy here will change into kinetic energy or energy of motion look at this this wind toy look at here when you move the spring of the wind toy you give the wind toy potential energy after that the toy changes the potential energy into kinetic energy because it's moving right look at here here the rubber band is not moving like this so it stores potential energy after that it moves when the rubber band moves it changes the potential energy into kinetic energy so when you stretch the rubber band the rubber band stores potential energy if you just lift the rubber band it will move so it will change the potential energy into kinetic energy oh cute body okay we've said that this the plant stores potential energy as food right now other animals will come and eat this food okay or this plant and they will get the stored food or the stored potential energy and then they run so they changed the potential energy inside the plant into kinetic energy or energy of moving or energy of motion when they are moving look at here the fuel when your father okay puts fuel inside his car okay the fuel itself has potential energy when your father runs the car the potential energy of the fuel will change into kinetic energy so the car will move whoa do you remember we we said here this water is not moving okay so this water has potential energy after that this potential energy when we open the doors of the dam this potential energy will change into energy of motion the water will move so this potential energy will change into kinetic energy so as you see here we've talked about two kinds of energy energy of motion which is kinetic energy and the stored energy which is potential energy there is a, an important piece of information that you must know that any energy cannot be made or destroyed okay so i cannot destroy or finish the energy okay and also i cannot make energy energy only okay moves from one place or from one object to another or it can change from one form to another but the energy cannot be made or destroyed okay like this we've finished our lesson for today thank you for your listening and goodbye